Hello ambitious business owners, welcome to Tuesday. Um, I'm Susie Campbell, founder of Hullabaloo PR and uh, every week I go live to share my tips and tricks um, for marketing and PR. Um, so this week I bring to you something that uh, was brought home to me um, when I came back after Christmas leave um, and I wanted to share with you. So it's if you don't ask and you know the common um, phrases if you don't ask you don't get um, and when it comes to marketing in your business um, it's particularly relevant for generating leads so I sat down after Christmas and I spent a bit of time reflecting on things and I go through my um, database and I f um, make a list of all the leads from the year before and maybe old leads that um, were warm leads and then they sort of things changed and lots of follow-up opportunities um, maybe people I'd spoken to or connected with that I hadn't really pushed because in the thick of being busy um, I hadn't really followed up or I'd maybe got enough business and felt oh, I haven't really got time to take on another one yet so I didn't push it as hard as I could um, but the beginning of the year as as good a time as any and I thought actually let's let's follow up a lot of these leads um, and reconnect with some people um, and ones that I thought you know, I was writing them off thinking, well, you know, I haven't spoken to them in quite a while and they haven't sort of come back to me when I followed them up last time. So I could quite easily have given up and not bothered. Um, but I thought, no, I'm going to follow up all these leads, all these opportunities, um, even ones that I kind of thought, not a chance. Um, and I tell you what, it's generated lots of conversations. Um, it looks like I've probably picked up some new business. I've got a great opportunity um, with my local council, which I kind of written off and thought, oh, not a chance. They'll never um, consider what I'm proposing. Um, but they were totally open to it. And so it really brought home to me, if you don't ask, you don't get. You miss out on opportunities because you've written it off in your own head. Um, basically there's no reason why they could say they might say no of course there's lots of reasons they might um, but you've decided that not them so give them the opportunity to say no well, what's the worst they say no that's okay um, nothing ventured nothing gained but they could equally say yes um, so I don't know why we always default to them maybe they won't when there's a 50 50 opportunity so my tip today is maybe um, look back through some other opportunities, ideas you had, things you maybe didn't um, follow up or have a go at because you thought, mm, no, you've got nothing to lose, guys, seriously. Um, follow them up, check in with them, ask the questions, um, pitch yourself um, and see what it brings. Uh, love to hear from anybody who has a go at this. Um, I'm doing some more of it this week as well. Last week was great, really exciting. Um, and I've got lots of others that I can follow up to. In fact, I've just sent an email 10 minutes ago um, to another opportunity. So I look forward to speaking to you guys soon and I'll be back next week with another tip. Take care, guys.